It's a quiet morning here in East Tennessee. And a blanket of fog covers the hill country here. Now normally, I would enjoy this. I'd come out here and have a cup of coffee and just sit here and relax. And I was supposed to leave about an hour ago, but I chose not to enter the Appalachian Mountains with all this fog. So instead of leaving at 6 a.m. like I'd like to, it'll be 7.15 this morning when I back out of the driveway and head to Old Car Festival in Dearborn, Michigan. So, welcome to the channel. I'm Ken Smith with Ken Smith Gallery, and we are off for our... Gate City is our first uh, major city that we'll hit in Virginia. 
should be up here shortly. Weather's looking pretty good so far, so. I put Rain-X on the windshield. So far, I haven't had a chance to uh, test to see if it works or not. I'm kind of hoping I won't have to, but according to weather conditions and weather forecasts, I am pretty positive I'm going to be hitting some rain at some juncture. I decided to deviate from my route just really quick and actually go through Gate City instead of around it. I'm just kind of curious what uh, what the town looks like. I've never been here before, so you and I get to see it for the very first time. Over on my left is Pals. Pals is kind of a local hamburger chain. And when I say local, it's just really the Tri-City area. So I'm actually kind of surprised to see one here in Virginia. When I say the Tri-City area, really the Tri-City area of Tennessee. Kingsport, Johnson City, and Bristol. So really kind of surprised to see one here, but uh, Someday we will uh, we'll do a foodie review. And uh, West Jackson Street. I'll take you there and uh, we'll go through uh, we'll go through the town together. It's really kind of unique. Uh, it's not a sit-down hamburger joint. It's really um, drive through you drive at one end, place your order, you drive at the other end, you pick up your order. Pretty neat little town, I'm kind of glad I uh, deviated from it a little bit. Typical Appalachian Mountain town. Small little downtown, old buildings. Surrounded by some older homes. Kind of glad I uh, made the drive through and stopped uh, instead of just sticking on. Uh, North and just jumped on uh, the business route here real quick, but uh, we'll get back. 
we got a scenic overlook up ahead, and I thought I'd stop and uh, get out, stretch my legs for a little bit, take a look, see what's there, and uh, let the car cool down a little bit. It's a big climb that we're making on our way to the Cumberland Gap, which is uh, kind, of a, kind of another big climb, so I guess this must be the scenic overlook. get out and take a look. See what's there. So I'm at the top of the, uh, I guess the uh, overlook, scenic overlook. There's the highway that I just came up. Absolutely beautiful. Some amazing light. I'm actually going to go back to the Model A and grab my camera and take a photo right down there because it is absolutely spectacular right now the way the light is and all the different shades of green. So blessed to live in this area. So, hope sharing it with you uh, is a good thing. That's where we got to go. But right now, look at those. I call those God rays. Check those out. How they're just kind of peeking through the clouds right there. Um, it is just spectacular. So, anyhow, wanted to share that with you guys real quick. On my way to Dearborn. Well, it looks like we're heading into some rain. That was uh, definitely part of the forecast. This is uh, the first time I've actually used Rain-X, and as you can kind of see in the video, it beats up on the uh, glass, kind of a good thing. Of course, my wiper motor works, it's vacuum operated. And, uh, I do have a spare wiper blade because, uh, just like uh, most everything else on this car, I'm not going to my local Napa store or AutoZone and uh, pick up parts. But I'm actually quite impressed. Granted, it's a small rain, but I'm still quite impressed with the rain so far. optimistic but optimistic nonetheless
gotta stop and take a picture. I just gotta. We're in Pikeville, Kentucky. What's kind of unique about this area is supposedly this is where the famous Hatfield and McCoy feud took place. Right here in these uh, Appalachian Mountains in Pikeville, Kentucky. Uh, we're about, uh, about 115 miles, 120 miles in our journey right now. And uh, we'll be stopping for fuel shortly. Are still doing okay. Betty Lou is uh, not letting me down at all. Well, here I am. What can I say? I'll tell you what, the car performed really well right up until that point. The outer wheel bearing grenaded on me. Now, before I forget, so far it's taken me four times to do this video. And let me tell you why people keep stopping to offer me a hand and the most recent one was someone who stopped and said can I bring you back something to eat and it's just amazing the hospitality that I receive on the road now that still doesn't solve the wheel bearing issue but my friend Mike McIntosh in Unicoi Tennessee gathered up everything I needed gave it to my incredible wife who is taking a three hour drive on the highway to rescue me. What can I say? She's just an absolute amazing woman. And it's, it blesses my heart. And so anyhow, uh, I'm, I'm still pressing the Dearborn we're going to get it together. I got black clouds over there. You see blue clouds behind me. But I got black clouds over in that direction there. And so I'm going to temporarily throw the wheel back on it. And uh, kind of cover things up because I'm sure it's going to rain here pretty soon. So, uh, repair video coming soon. When I say the wheel bearing grenaded on me, it grenaded on me. You can... You can see I had to beat and heat and beat and heat to get this thing off. Uh, that's what's, um, you can see the bearings just kind of exploded out of there. Fortunately, it didn't damage the race. The race isn't spinning. Uh, the spindle doesn't look too bad. I think I can polish that up with some emery cloth. Um, this took forever to get that off. And I literally heard some noise right after I stopped for fuel. And had I not heard that noise, um, it would have been a lot worse. So um, parts are on their way up here and uh, we should be getting it back on the road soon. We're about uh, 60 miles the Kentucky-Ohio border, currently still in Kentucky. I should have been about 150 to 200 miles further north than I am right now. At least, uh, at least that was uh, kind of what my my hope was, but a five-hour delay 
replacing those uh, that blown out wheel bearing. Kind of set me back. Guys, I gotta tell you, man, I, I'm not kidding. I have an amazing wife who was willing to do about a five and a half, six hour drive round trip to bring me some wheel bearings. Because dummy me forgot to, uh, to pack them. But the only thing I didn't pack was a little bit of water pump. But, uh, nobody has one in stock, so I'm kind of kind of hoping I can pick one up in uh, Dearborn once I get there. Somebody has one. Anyhow, for the most part, we uh, are done doing a lot of climbing. We've got some hills and that type of stuff. Nothing really big. Still cruising right around 45 miles an hour. I'm not going to push the car because uh, of the wheel bearing thing. need to push the car so anywho that's currently where we're at and uh, kind of hoping in about uh, 75 minutes or so I'm crossing the Ohio River Late than never, but we made it to Ohio. We're in the town of Portsmouth, Ohio. Kind of sideswiped a little bit. GPS says that uh, if I'm willing to drive till the uh, wee hours of the morning, I could technically be in uh, Dearborn at 2.31 a.m. Of course, that's not going to happen, so... realize something that's four states that I've traveled through. Uh, granted, I kind of 
nickel corner of two of them, Tennessee and Virginia, Virginia, but Tennessee, Virginia, Kentucky, now Ohio. So that's kind of uh, the first for me in the Model A. Kind of cool.
Well, I'm momentarily confused. GPS is telling me to turn long, long time ago. Signs differed, so I followed the signs. And somehow, those signs have disappeared through all that construction that I just went through. I got a road atlas with me, so I may end up having to just pull off the side of the road. If I don't see a sign here pretty soon that says 23 North. But there's a big old building in front of me. And it looks like my only option is to uh, kind of go around that building. Maybe there's a sign up there that says 23 North. So far, I haven't had much luck. The current landscape and the GPS are at least agreeing for the moment. I don't have much of an option but to turn left. I don't know if you can see in the upper right hand corner, but that looks like a pretty cool crossover bridge. There's downtown Columbus again. Time to go all the way around there. Well, it's not that big of a city. I can't possibly get that far away. This guy go faster than me, that'd be an insult. Certainly a long way around the barn. Well, that's pretty cool. The Smith Brothers Hardware. 
I had no idea that me and my brother had a hard work company. downtown and into the burbs. At least the north side of downtown.
day two of my travels and Betty Lou was performing just fine all of a sudden it acted like it was starving for fuel and uh, lo and behold don't ask me how the float adjustment changed but right there that thing that little do wiggy jiggy well it's loose somehow it worked its way loose so I'm gonna tighten it up and hopefully hopefully that solves the problem uh, yeah so roadside assistance not needed or at least I don't think so at this juncture so stay tuned well, that's about a half a mile from my exit when that, well, more like a mile from that exit. When I got the carburetor issue, and uh, I managed to nurse it for about a half a mile, and that's where I was stuck on, on the side of the road. I seem to have it fixed, so that wasn't... Uh, too terribly dramatic. I have a spare carburetor with me if the carburetor had completely failed. So that's a good thing too. But we're back on the road. That put us uh, oh, probably about 40 minutes or so behind uh, my ETA, which uh, Still isn't bad. I'm still on target to be in uh, Greenfield Village uh, at my assigned uh, check-in time. Uh, but I don't have any other issues. So we're back on the road. We're running, and. Uh, Be back reporting to you soon.
Well, we are here. And as you can see, a lot of people trailed their vehicles. But I know of three very special gentlemen who drove all the way to New Hampshire. I know they checked in earlier. I don't know if they're still here or if they're coming back, but we'll see. Very excited to uh, put some faces to some names of people I have not yet met in person. We're gonna park it right here. I'm gonna walk around and see what's going on. Looks like there's some pretty cars here already.